the number one best 3D printer filament blue PLA 1.75 one kilogram spool and all that other stuff that it says. <laughs> um, I do not have a 3D printer, but the cool thing is is that my 3D pen can take um, ABS and PLA filament, so I'm going to check this stuff out with this. I'm obviously going to have to get it off of the spool some because the spool is ginormous. I've already um, promised my son's school that if it works out well in the pen that they can um, have it as a donation for their um, 3D printer that they have in their lab there. So they're very excited and very hopeful and so am I. So we're going to check out and see how it works. Get rid of that silica packet there and find our end which is nicely tucked for easy access which is great. And we're going to just take some off and then I'm going to go ahead and tuck the rest back up. Now if you're using um, this kind of filament for a 3D pen. I don't know how it works for 3D printers, but the ends have to be trimmed flat before they can be fed in there. So I cut, made sure that I cut that at a straight angle. And I'm going to go ahead and tuck this back up over here and get that out of the way. Also, if you're going to use this as a 3D pen, which I wouldn't blame you. You would have filament forever with a spool that big. Um, <clears throat> you have to read your manual on how to adjust the temperatures because um, ABS um, works on a higher temperature than PLA does. But what they recommend is to have your pen heated to the PLA temperature when you're switching or to the ABS temperature when you're switching over to the PLA and resetting it real quick by unplugging it and plugging it back in and we're ready to go we're gonna sit this here and press our feed and I'll speed that up some and push out whatever's residual leftover from my last <laughs> attempt. Oh, and I can definitely see a difference between the two kinds of filaments. Um, okay, this pink on the end is the um, ABS filament, and it looks a lot thinner, even though it's coming out the same size hole. It just looks thinner, and this is, and it's shinier. Where this um, PLA is more matte and it feels a little thicker. So that's kind of cool. Um, we're going to... Now I'm not <laughs> really good at this, so we're just going to try to make a uh, flower or something here. <laughs> I think I have my feet on too high. But we'll see. I always try if I'm, you know, the stuff comes out hot, so you want to, um, I only use my fingernails to touch it. So, and I know it's 3D, so I'm supposed to be able to build up, but I'm not very good at that right now. I try, but <laughs> I'm just not that good at it. So, I like to make my designs flat, and then they can be picked up, and then they're 3D. And so we're going to make our center here. And that's going to kind of pop up. And we will add our stem. And I'm going to thicken my stem. Like so. We'll add a leaf.
Okay. And now we will pluck my masterpiece off of here. <laughs> Get off. It's still a little warm, but it is all kind of snapping up for me. Let's get this part here. And there we go. With our 3D printer pen, or our 3D printer of filament. There's our flower. So beautiful. Thanks for watching.